Ladies and germs, thanks for joining me again. You're back with Own Monster, and today I don't have a review for you. I have a tutorial for you. Now, what I'll be showing you is a wicking technique called the Scottish Roll. Now, the first person I saw to do this on YouTube was a guy called Cheese Banana. Scottish guy, not sure whether he came up with it or not, but who cares? Let me show you. Alright guys, so here we are. Now all we'll need for this technique today is obviously a pre-built RDA, something to stuff your cotton in with, a pair of scissors, and of course your cotton. Now the cotton I'll be using today is Black Nimbus. Uh, you can get this from vapo.co.nz and I believe it's about two bucks and there's about four sheets in here. Okay guys, so you start off with one sheet of your organic cotton. Now the first thing you want to be doing with this sheet is taking off the first sort of paper layer off these. Thinnest paper layer that you can get off, just ease that off, just keep pressing the cotton pad down with your thumb. We don't need that, so toss that aside. Alright, so you turn it so the grain of the cotton is vertical, and then you start pulling this, pulling this apart. Now you want to be doing this very gently, so you don't tear it, you're just simply separating. Alright, and that's what you should be ending up with. Okay, so what we'll do is take these ends off, because no matter how much fluffing you'll do, you'll always end up with these bunched up a wee bit. We'll do that on the other side. Alright, fluff that back out. You really want to get it so you can just start to see through it. Alrighty. Alright, so that leaves us with this. Now what we'll do is we'll cut this in half. So, you'll take your first half, fluff that back out a wee bit. Alright, and then we fold it. Fold it again. Don't roll it, fold it. Alright, tightly. But don't roll it. Alright, so that should be what you end up with. And of course, you want to do that twice and do this again with the other half. Alright, so on one end, you just want to twist it. Now, you get your RDA. And you feed it through. Now this is going to be tight, but that's the whole point. Make sure you pull in this in the direction that you pushed your coil to center it. Alright. Alright, and then we'll do it on the other side. Alright guys, so that's what we should be looking like once we've put both of those cotton leads in. So, we'll just snip these off. Now all you want to be doing is making sure you've got enough cotton for it to just sit in the juice well. It doesn't need to fold under or over or anything like that, it just needs to sit in there nicely. Alright, so there we go with that. Got that crop out of the way. And that's what we're left with. Now we fluff these up. Now what I use, I just use the end of the screwdriver and just like paint. And fluff them right up. The fluffier the better. Oh. Alright, and that's what you should be left with. Now after that, just do what you'd normally do and tuck it in. Alrighty, and there we go, so nice and fluffy, nice and compact. Now what I'm going to do, take this outside, we'll do an efficiency test for you. Alright guys, so I've come outside for this, in case, well, the, the room I'm in, you won't be able to see me by the end of it. So, like I said, with the old uh, cotton roll technique, so we'll drip this right up. 
now for you. Now you'll be able to see when this uh, when this starts going white again. This is a coloured juice, so it'll go dark. Give that a good good soaking. Ooh, fuck. I want to overdrip it though, so it'll stop just before it gets to spit backstage. I think. All right. And as you can see, that pipette isn't exactly small. All right. So sat here and oh god, you can't. I think you can see that. That's 80 watts, by the way. So we'll give this a crack. This is just uh, five wrap, six wrap, five wrap, maybe six wrap, 22 gauge, 80 watts. And I'll speed this up because you will be here all fucking day. All right. It's a bit of cotton now, but we can keep going. Here we go. That was that was borderline dry hit, right? So, as you can see, possibly, don't know if you can, but um, I'll do a quick shot down to the cotton anyway, because we'll pull this cotton out. Um, so we'll go back up close as it is, and I'll show you. All right then, guys. So here we are after the efficiency test, and as you can see. That cotton's pretty dry. So what we'll do is we'll pull it out and I'll show you. Okay. As you can see that's that's bone dry. Like and as you can see, a little bit of darkening but no singeing. And this cotton is dry as a burn. Squeeze this so we and see what we've got in there. As you get the tiny bit of juice left. Probably could have gone for a couple more tokes there actually. But as you can see it did start to darken the cotton. So it's probably not there enough there for a good toke. Now as you can see on the coils, still a bit of juice left. So yeah, we could have gone for a couple more. But hey, it would have ended up in a in a dry hit. Right, let's go back out and we'll talk about it. All right, guys, and that was the Scottish roll wicking technique. Probably the most efficient wicking technique that I've come across. It's only really useful for the pads. So if you've got the likes of cotton bacon or any of the loose cotton that's out there at the moment, you can still do that technique. It'll probably be a little bit more fiddly, but you can still do it. But it's really only designed for the pads to get as they're not the most efficient. So I'll leave a link in the description below from where to get the Black Nimbus cotton from, from Vapo. And that's all from me. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Again, I really do appreciate it, and I'll catch you later. Strike out!